Okay, um, we have three sets, A, B, and C, and we're supposed to figure out what this complicated thing is going to give us for a new set. So it's easiest if you just figure out what the, the first parentheses is, B union C. So that means anything in B or anything in set C. So I'm going to go ahead and list out everything that's in B because it's one or the other. It's not saying intersection. It's not only the ones that are together. It could be anything in set B or anything in set C. So when you see the or symbol, that means it's everything in the first one plus whatever you missed in the second one. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, two. We've already covered, and we look, when we look at set C, we already have two in our new set. We already have four. We already have six. We don't have eight, and we don't have ten. So that's how you do a union operator. B union C means everything in B and everything in C just don't double count elements. And let's do the other parentheses. A union B, same type of thing, that's a union, so everything in A. And then everything in B that's not already listed. So one is in B, uh, and it's and we haven't listed it yet. Two, we've already listed, so we're not gonna double count that. Three, already listed. Four is not listed, so we'll put that in here. Five, we covered. Six is not listed yet, so. Okay, let's just rearrange that one so it makes more sense in our brain. Let's put it in least of grace. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 15, I think I got. Yeah, okay, that's a unit. So uh, now that we've done that, now we can do the intersection. What they're saying is, here, let's just delete this one so that's not confusing us. Um, an intersection means it has to be in both sets in order to be put in your new set. So the intersection, I'm just writing intersection set so I don't have to copy all this down. But the answer here, the intersection set that they're looking for, is anything that's both in this set and in this set, in the intersection of those two groups. So one is in both of them, two is in both of them, three is in both of them, four is, five is, six is, eight is, and that's it. Ten is in the first set but 10 is not in the second set, so we don't write that in our answer. 13 is in our second set, but it's not in the first set. 